I'm really excited, John, about Francis Ha because I know you're a Noah Baumbach fan. I am. I was always kind of like, I liked him. I never really quite, his movies never quite hit their stride mm-hmm. for me. But Francis Ha, I think he has knocked it out of the park. I think clearly this is his best work as far as I'm concerned. But what about you being a fan? It's hard to say because I love a lot of his films. I love all of his work. And Kicking and Screaming, his first film, was probably my favorite film for a time. Um, but I think this may even be better. I, I I was blown away by this movie. Yeah, it's certainly the best Woody Allen movie in years. <laughs> <laughs> it is a class. It seems it, t- it played right into uh, being a Woody Allen fan, right into those themes and the way it's shot. It's kind of like a contemporary update of Manhattan and Annie Hall kind of mashed together. Uh, and you can't talk about this movie, obviously, without talking about Greta Gerwig yes. and just how incredible she is. She really is amazing. And something that I like about the film so much, something we talked about is you can see her passion for the film. Like She Mm -hmm. co-wrote the film, and that's obvious. There's these moments where she's saying lines, and you know they're coming out of her brain. Right. You know, and that's, it's it's brilliant. Yeah, they're very organic to her persona and her character because an actress couldn't deliver those lines the way she's delivering them. They seem very natural. But she wrote this, co-wrote this movie with Bama? Yeah, and that's something about the film that I think you can see is it's a beautiful blend of a lot of her ideas mm-hmm. mixed with his ability, his knowledge about telling film and being a director. Because yeah. you know, he's an experienced director now. He's done this a number of times. So his expertise is obvious, but her ideas are there too. I think it's a perfect marriage, actually, because even though they're not married, <laughs> but his uh, experience as a filmmaker is completely evident here in a way that I, I think he's more confident like he seems formalistically in charge yes. in a way that I don't think he has been in the past there's a moment in this movie I think I leaned over to you when we were uh, seeing it um, where Greta Gerwig becomes a movie star yep and do you agree do you I think do. that's true it was I mean the whole film s- suddenly sort of stops mm-hmm. and you just are looking right at her and yeah. everything is just her every word you're sort of leaning on and she's in complete command of the camera yep. as a person uh, as a personality um i wonder how that's going to change her career do you, you know, is it going to get derailed a little bit you know derailed how you mean well, in a I positive mean, like, direction in a positive direction i mean she's going to be she's this indie darling now you know mm-hmm. and this movie i i guarantee you she's going to be nominated for an academy award Should and be. If she wins, what happens to Greta Gerwig from there? What does she lose her sort of indie cred? Yeah, her credentials. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, I think um, it's hard to say. It's hard to say. I, I, I kind of want to see her explore something else. You yeah. know, I think she's well established in the sort of indie, you know, shoegazy film style. Yeah, yeah. I want to see her try something different. Right. When I know she's directing something. Yeah, she's working on a couple things with uh, Bombach. Yeah, an so. animated film even. One question about this movie as far as it being a romantic comedy, because mm-hmm. there's no mistaking it. It's exactly what it, it is. It is a it romantic, romantic comedy. comedy. And yet it flouts the conventions of that genre in some interesting ways. Yeah. it. Uh, I feel like it has all the classic tropes, but it doesn't fall into any of the pitfalls. Um, you said there's no kissing in this film, mm-hmm. and that's pretty amazing. Because right. it is. There are these incredibly romantic moments, but there's no kissing, and there's almost no physical contact it's very distant and awkward yeah but you can see that these characters love each other and you fall in love with them in right the same same way yeah uh and um it's also interesting the rhythms of this movie mm-hmm. you know the rhythms of the of the, of the film mirror the rhythms of the way the characters talk yes. they speak in these sort of non-sequitur self-reflexive kind of well, at the beginning of, at the beginning of the film you know francis character has this sort of false sense of security about her life and as you see it slip away the pacing of the film almost catches up with that and you sort of get lost like the film just starts moving faster than the characters can keep up with it mm-hmm. and faster than the viewer can keep up with it and then in the end it kind of finds itself and there's this relief you yeah. feel it's really cool yeah it's beautiful lyrical beautiful film Yes, if you have seen the film, thank you very much for seeing it here at the Film Center. Um, Please continue the conversation. uh, Comment down below or hit us up on Facebook if you want to keep talking. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend that you do. Uh, It's a great film. And if you want to talk more about what films we should be talking about or playing at the Film Center, um, again, visit us on Facebook. Thank you.